Welcome to Fascination Station. Let's get stuck right in with some interesting facts. What if the sudden jolt of cold in your head while enjoying your favorite ice cream had a scientific term? Well, it does. It's called sphenopalatine ganglioneuralgia, a term that isn't easy to pronounce. It's a word that would make you stumble and stutter. But it merely describes the sensation universally known as brain freeze. This intense, sudden, yet temporary headache is something we've all experienced at some point. It's the unwelcome guest that tends to barge in when you're happily indulging in a frosty treat. Have you ever wondered why this happens? It's a fascinating reaction, really. When something cold touches the roof of your mouth, your body thinks your brain is freezing. So it tries to heat it up by rushing warm blood to your head, causing that familiar throbbing pain. Interestingly, while we're discussing interesting facts and phenomena, did you know about a unique law in Canada? Canadians recognized for their politeness had to legislate it. In 2009, they passed a law stating an apology doesn't equate to an admission of fault. This unusual law offers a captivating look into their culture. A fascinating insight into cultural norms, wouldn't you agree? Picture a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. The landscape was vastly different, dominated by enormous creatures and lush greenery. In the vast sky overhead, celestial bodies danced in the darkness, including the moon, an ever-present companion to our home planet. Now pause for a moment, close your eyes, and let your imagination take flight. Picture the moon, not as the dormant, lifeless satellite we know today, but as a fiery, active, celestial entity. Imagine peering through the lens of time and seeing a volcano erupting, not here on Earth, but on the moon. The moon, back during the era of the dinosaurs, was a dynamic and tumultuous place, with molten lava bursting forth from volcanoes, painting a breathtaking picture in the night sky. Amid the silent serenity of the night, these lunar volcanoes were a reality, providing a stunning celestial display that we can only dream of witnessing today. In the immersive universe of gaming, catchphrases have evolved into more than just colloquial expressions. They are now registered trademarks that define the identity of games and their characters. One such phrase, it's on like Donkey Kong, was officially claimed and trademarked by the renowned gaming company, Nintendo, in the year 2010. This decision by Nintendo serves as a stellar example of how an in-game catchphrase has successfully managed to resonate with the gaming community. Isn't that a fascinating choice to dwell upon? English and French cultural sayings. Let's consider English for example. In this language, sneaking out of a party without informing anyone is humorously termed a French exit. It's an expression that paints a playful picture of the French culture. Nevertheless, this jesting isn't one-sided. In an amusing turn of events, the French have a similar term for the same situation. They call it partir à l'anglaise, which, when translated to English, means leave like the English. This statement serves as a comical retort the English phrase, turning it into a delightful cross-cultural exchange. Hence, it seems that both cultures enjoy a little playful blame game, using language as their playground. Here's a fun fact for car owners. If you point your car keys to your head, it can increase the remote's signal range. This is not a magic trick or a result of some weird biological phenomenon, but a scientific reality. The explanation is simple. Your brain acts as a sort of amplifier, enhancing the signal's range. This trick might come handy when you can't find your car in a crowded parking lot, or when your remote seems weaker than usual. Of course, it might look a bit strange to others, but hey, if it works, why not? Now let's talk about another interesting thing. Have you ever experienced those flashes of colored light you see when you rub your eyes? Those sparkling spectacles are called phosphenes. This term comes from the Greek words phos, meaning light, and phainine, meaning to show. These lights can appear as blobs, streaks, or geometric patterns, and can be different colors. Despite the common belief, phosphenes are not just products of our imagination, they are caused by the mechanical stimulation of the retina. And here's another intriguing fact. Did you know that the tongue is the only muscle in the human body that is attached from one end? This might seem like a strange design, but it's all about functionality. The tongue needs to be extremely flexible to help us in speaking, eating, and tasting. The uniqueness of this organ lies in its single-end attachment, a feature which sets it apart from all other muscles. It truly is a unique feature for one of our most vital organs. The LEGO Group, creators of the beloved building blocks, is the world's most powerful brand. It's a brand that has been a cornerstone of childhood for generations, fostering creativity and imagination on a global scale. Founded in 1932 by Ole Kirk Christiansen, 
The name Lego is derived from the Danish words leg got, meaning play well. And indeed, the brand truly embodies this mantra, consistently delivering innovative, high-quality products for children and adults alike. The universal appeal of Lego is exemplified by the astounding statistic that there are more Lego minifigures than there are people on Earth. This isn't just a testament to the brand's expansive reach, but also a reflection of the diversity and inclusivity of the Lego universe. Each minifigure with its unique identity and features represents a distinct character, from ancient warriors to modern superheroes, from ordinary citizens to extraordinary personalities. GoldenEye 007 for Nintendo 64, a classic and much-revered video game, was developed by a remarkably small team of just nine talented developers. This striking revelation subtly underscores the immense talent and commitment that was embodied by these individuals. They were not only developers, they were creatives, visionaries, innovators, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was considered possible within the realm of video games at that time. Their relentless pursuit for excellence and under such constrained circumstances is truly a testament to their creative prowess. Next, let us take a detour into the world of gourmet coffee. Costa Coffee, a well-established global chain, has an interesting character in its team, a coffee taster named Gennaro Pelliccia. Now, being a coffee taster might sound like a dream job to many caffeine lovers out there, but in reality, it's a job that entails enormous responsibility. This man, Gennaro, is so adept and committed to his work that he has had his tongue insured for a staggering sum of $10 million since 2009. This is not just a job, it's a passion, a devotion that extends far beyond what most of us can fathom. It's a commitment that borders on the extraordinary. Now that's a serious commitment to coffee. The term wealth has undergone significant evolution over the years, with the yardstick for being considered wealthy continuously shifting upwards. It's a fascinating transformation to observe. In the past, the concept of a millionaire elicited images of immense riches. However, as we find ourselves in the modern era, the moniker millionaire no longer carries the same weight. As per recent studies, most Americans no longer view individuals with a net worth of just $1 million as wealthy. The perception has evolved past individuals with a million dollars to their name. Today, the typical American sees wealth not as a million dollar fortune, but substantially more. It's quite intriguing to see how the societal perception has changed and continues to change, this shift in wealth perception is indicative of the changing landscape of American society, where the financial bar for being considered wealthy keeps rising. The typical American now sees at least $2.4 million as the benchmark for wealth. The human eye is an exceptional marvel of nature. It is so sensitive, so incredibly perceptive, that on a flat earth devoid of hills and valleys, with the blanket of darkness draped over it, a single candle's flame has the potential to be seen from an astounding distance of 30 miles away. This is no small feat. Consider, if you will, the magnitude of this distance. It's roughly equivalent to the length of Manhattan, end to end. Picture this. A solitary flame, flickering in the distance, casting a small aura of light in the immediate vicinity, but also radiating far beyond. This light, so tiny yet so immense, can reach the human eye from a distance that would take a car half an hour to traverse given a clear road, a testament to unparalleled sensitivity. Now let's diverge a bit and talk about a common myth related to the color red. A widely held belief is that this fiery hue incites anger in bulls. It's commonly depicted in cartoons and perpetuated in popular culture. However, contrary to this belief, it doesn't really have the effect people imagine on bulls. Bulls are in fact color blind. They do not see the world in the vibrant blues, greens, and reds that humans do. Their world is one devoid of color differentiation. The myth of the red cloth and the bull is a misconception, a fascinating example of human misunderstanding of the animal kingdom. In 2007, Scotland invested a staggering £125,000 in an innovative public initiative, the creation of a fresh, impactful national slogan. The government, Recognizing the power of words and their ability to shape public perception dedicated a considerable sum to this task. A nationwide competition was launched, inviting every citizen to craft a compelling phrase that encapsulated the spirit of Scotland. This wasn't just an exercise in creativity, it was a testament to Scottish pride and identity. Thousands of entries flooded in, with hopeful contributors envisioning their words becoming synonymous with their beloved homeland. 
slogan was meticulously analyzed and evaluated on its representation of Scotland's heritage, culture, and character. After exhaustive deliberation, a winning entry emerged, Welcome to Scotland. This simple yet resonant phrase became the nation's new calling card, greeting locals and visitors alike. Was the investment justified, one might wonder, money well spent? In an interesting twist of linguistic trivia, there exists a punctuation mark used to signify irony or sarcasm that looks like a backward question mark. The saying, opposites attract, is quite often quoted but upon closer inspection it's actually a myth. This captivating concept, that people with dramatically different personality traits are irresistibly drawn to each other, has gained traction due to its romantic appeal. However, the reality of human nature and attraction is far more nuanced. Studies have consistently shown that people are predominantly attracted to those who bear a resemblance to family members or those who have a similar personality type. This can be explained by various psychological theories, including the familiarity principle, which posits that we are more likely to form connections with people who are familiar to us, often because they mirror our own personalities or physical attributes. Now let's delve into the world of animation, stop-motion animation. One might think that the wildly popular, Tim Burton's gothic masterpiece, The Nightmare Before Christmas, is the highest-grossing film in this genre. But surprisingly, it's not. Instead, that title goes to a less macabre but equally creative film, Chicken Run. This underdog tale of plucky chickens planning a great escape from a cruel farmer was a massive hit, proving that sometimes you don't need to be dark and spooky to win hearts and break records. Indeed, Chicken Run is the highest-grossing stop-motion animated film, even beating The Nightmare Before Christmas. Finally, there is a statue of Tesla in Silicon Valley that radiates free Wi-Fi. This mesmerizing creation is a testament to the genius of Nikola Tesla, a scientist whose revolutionary insights laid the groundwork for modern wireless communication. The statue is not just a static monument, but an active tribute. It broadcasts wireless internet, a fitting homage to Tesla's vision of a where information could travel freely through the air. This fascinating tribute was realized through the combined efforts of passionate individuals who appreciated the significance of Tesla's work. The contributions came from diverse backgrounds, engineers who admired his revolutionary ideas, historians who recognized his contributions to modern science, and ordinary people who believed in the transformative power of technology. Together, they erected a statue that serves not just as a reminder of Tesla's past achievements, but also his future vision. The usage of the statue does not stop at symbolism, it literally radiates Wi-Fi, making the digital world accessible to anyone within its vicinity. Beyond its practical function, the statue stands as a beacon of inspiration. It reminds us of the potential of human ingenuity and the power of a single vision to change the world. It serves as a bridge between the past and the future, a tangible link between the pioneering work of Tesla and the wireless world we live in today. In summary, the world is full of surprising and fascinating facts. From brain freezes and moon volcanoes to polite Canadians and star sailors, there's always something new to learn. 